So you don't have time to consume an entire podcast. That's okay. Enjoy the highlights on TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon. We had a monk on the show two days back. Okay. Okay. And the conversation went very deep. Okay. And I know that you're a practicing Catholic, and mm-hmm. I have to ask you this because I asked Dwayne Bravo this as well. Okay. And I, I'll tell you his answer after you answer. Okay. Okay, but I asked him that you know these abilities that he had, mm-hmm. uh, which everyone knows uh, Dwayne Bravo's abilities. Does he think that it's some external, externally given strength given to him? Like, have you heard? I'm sure you know the verse Philippians four thirteen. Yeah. So I have, I I have a tattoo all of like Christ, Philippians four yeah, yeah. thirteen. Uh, why don't you say the verse first? I can do all th- things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. So uh, it effectively means that any ability is always God given. Like yeah. anything you you do, yeah. have you ever like thought about this thought? when playing because you're really young mm-hmm. to have seen international cricket at this level mm-hmm. so there has to be some level of god gifted abilities in you mm-hmm. i want to ask you about that whole vibe okay so so yeah i am a i'm a spiritual person and i do believe that you know if i look at myself in and of myself i know i'm not good enough i i mean i'm like i i do think some like dude how did i get here after all this but i know it's not me i mean how do i explain it so So I've been a very fearful and anxious person growing up, and uh, I remember that uh, I couldn't even sit in a classroom full of like thirty people, and that also happened like it aggravated because uh, my my cousin sister was very close to like we used to like best friends. She passed away like right in front of my eyes in a swimming pool. Like I was I was in the baby pool and she I don't know why but something happened. She went in the deep side and she drowned over there. So after that I got very insecure and. How old were you? I was um, maybe six, seven, six, seven years old, and I'd gotten very. First of all, I used to never like going to school, but I was fine. But then after that, I couldn't sit in a classroom like full of how many twenty five, thirty people. I needed my mom to be there, and and my my parents used to think they used to worry. I'm like they like I don't know what's going to happen of this girl. She cannot even talk in front of people. She cannot even be in a classroom full of people. How is she going to? What is she going to do in life? It is like that. But uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is my favorite verse, and it's also on my Instagram bio. I think like how you have Philippians four thirty nine. Mine is uh, okay. I don't know the verse, but uh, it it says yeah. like uh, perfect love casts out all fear. So I have been a very anxious person, but the more I realize Jesus' love and uh, what He's done for me, the more it's helped me. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a conviction that the more it's helped me rise above my fears. and today if you go to see like like it's the same thing like my father in heaven doesn't judge me based on how i do today or judge me okay if i do well <laughs> if i do well today he loves me a lot if i fail he like get lost or he'll kick me it's not that his love for me is constant and his love for me is the same and i think that is one thing that gives me stability in this life that you know in the ups and downs one thing is for sure and one thing never changes is god's love for me and that's unconditional and the more i realize that the more it helps me rise above my fears because this verse says perfect love only god's love is perfect jesus love is perfect he died on the cross for me so that love casts out every fear and today it's just a miracle i think of you know i say my life is kind of a testimony of what god can do with the most broken people and make it into something beautiful because today i'm going and playing in stadiums filled with 84000 people for a girl who couldn't sit in a classroom full of 10 people now going there at this international stage in front of cameras and front I think it's just a miracle and I I can't explain it I can't say it but I would just tell like who is watching to you know maybe if you feel god's not real ask him to be real he will reveal himself to you yeah miracles happen to those who seek so that's what I strongly believe in mm-hmm.